Hi everyone and welcome to my sewing corner. I'm Paige and in this video I'm going to be talking about sewing straight lines and curved lines. I'll share with you three tips that I have for sewing a straight line and just getting the practice in. Let me show you how I did each of these tips on the machine. My first tip is to practice your seam widths using your foot or your needle plate. So here I'm going to be using the mark in the center of my presser foot and that is an eighth of an inch. And then I'll switch over to a fourth of an inch. You can see a little indentation in the foot and here a half an inch is at the edge of my foot. And then I'm going to switch to the needle plate as a guide for five eighths of an inch. And then I'll use the line for one inch and as you practice that over and over, you'll know just where the right marks are and keep going till your gauge indicates that you're hitting the right spots. And then you can practice on a piece of paper with different designs. So a straight line or 90 degree turns or curves with turns. So a straight line is simple enough, you just follow that straight line. And now for turning, you can practice sewing in a straight line and approaching the corner. And here you're going to just go slowly until you get to the right point. Leave the needle down and turn the fabric or paper and continue stitching. This gives you a crisp corner. Then if you're going to do a curved line, you may have to just pivot often stitch by stitch on tight corners and as they smooth out you can just sort of push the fabric ever so slightly and when it gets off course or you're thinking it's going to get off course, just raise up the presser foot and pivot. It's really helpful on a machine like mine to have it's set to where the needle automatically stops the stitch down in the fabric. And then now I'm going to practice curves with pivots. And there you go. Then you can just get some fabric and practice just some organic designs that you want to experiment with. So I just did a square spiral and a curved spiral to practice the technique. And then you can just do some organic turns to freely roam about the fabric. On tight corners you may need to use the pivoting. So just go play around with fabric or paper and have fun. All right, I hope those tips were helpful. Now go get some paper and some fabric and make some fun swatches. Down in the description box below this video, there will be a link to my website where there is full show notes for this video. You can also let me know if this was helpful by giving me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell alert and you'll be notified anytime that I post a video. Until next time, go get creative and make something that you love. Bye.